Hello again everybody and welcome to another edition of On The Range and today I'm going to cover a technical topic that applies to owners of VR headsets. Now if that's you, you know that to use the headset with DCS World you have to go to the Options tab, VR, and click Enable Virtual Reality Headset. Then every time that you run DCS World it's going to go straight to your headset and you're just going to be left with this sort of VR repeater screen like we have displayed right here. And I'll leave that box checked and exit out and come back to the desktop for this next part. Now you might run into a situation, I run into it a lot, where all I want to do is go in and do some work in the mission editor or just do some mission planning using the standard display that you get on the monitor. So if I wanted to do that, that would require me to come over and in my case click the shortcut, it's going to open up DCS World, I have to go back to the options tab, select VR, unclick the box, hit OK and exit, and then restart. Then once I've finished what I need to do and I'm ready to fly something in VR, I have to open it back up, re-click the checkbox, exit again, and then restart. So I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about if you are a VR user. So what I'm going to show you how to do here is set up a separate shortcut on your desktop that allows you to go straight to the standard desktop screen without running VR. And it's actually incredibly simple. So what I'm going to do is come up here where my shortcuts are. I'm going to do this on the open alpha version. It's going to be the same procedure no matter what version that you have installed. I'm just going to right click, go to copy, and then paste a copy of that shortcut on the desktop. I'm going to right click on that new shortcut, come down to properties, and then under target you see that it's pointing to DCS updater exe. I want to change this to point to the DCS exe and then I want to add a line of text at the very end and I have it right here. I'm just going to copy and paste this. It's force disable VR. And I'll have the same text in the video description if you just want to copy and paste and follow along. Now I'm going to make sure there's a space after the end of the line and then I'm just going to paste in dash dash force disable VR. I'm going to hit OK. And now this new shortcut is pointing to the main DCS World program that gets run but it has that line that's going to just force it not to go to the VR headset. So if I open this one up it goes straight to the standard 2D screen, even though if I come back to the VR tab, Enable VR Headset is still checked. So by doing it this way, you can just check this box once, and then depending on the shortcut that you take, it's either going to go straight to your headset, or it's going to take you to the standard 2D screen. So folks, I'll keep this one short and sweet. That's all there is to it. I'm sure there are many, many other ways to do that, but this seems to me at least to be the most straightforward. And hopefully this will save you as much time as it does me just on a day-to-day -day basis going back and forth to the mission editor and flying missions in VR. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.